So this is a lovely photograph and I want to say thanks to Pat Bracken at Tipperary Studies in Tipperary County Council for allowing us to use this for the exhibition. And it's a picture from the Clada. And what you will see uh, is that there are a number of the Clada cottages which have of course since been demolished. And we have quite a large number of children playing in the foreground um, and some adults and some fowl as well. Um, when I saw this photograph, I was reminded of another very, very similar photograph. It's in a book called In Search of Ireland, which was written by H.V. Morton. And it was published in the 1920s. And the picture is almost exactly from the same view, with the same green in the middle, and uh, also some ducks. Uh, so I thought it was just interesting how it was taken from the exact same angle. But a fascinating picture of, of life in the Clada, and amazing how many people are, are actually in this photograph. So from the same collection as the previous Clada photograph, which was from 1914. This picture is from 1926, and it's of a slightly different looking air square. But in fact, there are many connections to the air square that we know today. And again, thanks to Tipperary Studies for allowing us to use this photograph. Um, you'll see in the background, we have the Royal Hotel, which was Black's Royal Hotel, and uh, now the location of Supermax. And actually just above the sign for the Royal Hotel is the uh, Galway um, coat of arms which is still there today. So again a very vibrant scene where you can see um, it's the cattle fair so lots of, um, of bulls visible and actually on the left hand side here you can see what looks to be an old style uh, water trough with a number of, uh, of, of children sitting around the edge. So this is a lovely photograph from the Lawrence collection at the National Library of Ireland and the Lawrence collection consists of many tens of thousands of glass plate negatives that were taken primarily by a photographer called Robert French. And this picture of, um, of Shop Street, again, a lot of action, a lot of things going on here. We have the, the tram going down the street here. We used colors from, um, known colors for the tram to colorize this one. It was, um, as you can see there, uh, red um, on post actually a number of years ago, released a number of stamps of Irish trams, including one from Galway. And you can see various shop fronts here. Um, lots of uh, items being sold. This one here says Dooley, we've Craven. Um, there is uh, again many uh, interesting shop fronts visible which have changed between now and then. We've got more in provisioners here, wholesale goods. And uh, again, just interesting to see all of the people, all of the uh, horses and carts, but yet many of the same building fronts that we have today in Shop Street in Galway. So this is another great picture. It's also from the Lawrence Collection. Um, Robert French, again, uh, a fantastic photographer. There's a brilliant book called The Light of Other Days, which uh, it's been out for a number of years, but it's by, um, by uh, Kieran Hickey, and you can still uh, find copies of that in various secondhand bookshops, which goes through French is, French's background, the connection to Lawrence Studio, and some of the stories uh, in terms of the negatives that were eventually acquired by the National Library of Ireland. Unfortunately, during the 1916 rebellion, the main office of Lawrence at um, Sackville Street, as it was then, was destroyed. And all of the records about when these photographs were taken and um, exact dates, places, other information um, uh, were, were lost. This one is of um, Air Square. In the background, you can see what was called the Railway Hotel, which later became the Great Southern, then the Merrick, and now, of course, the Hardeman Hotel. Slightly different from what we have now because the top floor is, uh, was added at a later date. And on the right hand side here, we have the statue of Lord um, Duncallan. Um, this was pulled down, a bronze statue that was pulled down after the War of Independence because his brother was quite an unpopular landlord. And um, again, people in, in a fine array of clothes um, at the time and uh, seated in the background uh, having a good chat.